Hello JPNs! I welcome you to this another video in our accounting series where we will tackle about the types of journal. Again, a refresher, journalizing is a process of recording economic events in the box of original entry called the journal. This economic event, otherwise known as transactions, are recorded using the double entry bookkeeping system. Under this system, transactions are recorded in twofold effects, which are the debit and the credit. Take note that in recording the business transactions, the entity may adopt the use of the general journal only or the use of special journals. First, we will tackle if the company opt to use the general journals only. So again, General journal is the book of original entries, wherein we record raw business transactions according to the date when the events occur. A general journal is the first place where the data is recorded. In this given picture, it shows how the general journal is prepared. First, the header, general journal, followed by the date, the transactions or particulars, the reference number or the folio number, then the debits and the credits. In the first column, you can see the date is followed by the year, followed by the month, and the day of the transactions. In the transactions column, you will record the appropriate account titles and its description. For the reference number or the folio number, it is where the account number of the respective account titles are recorded that you can see in the chart of accounts. The amount for the transactions are recorded in the debits and the credits. If the companies decided to use the special journal, the transactions of the same kind are grouped together wherein it is recorded to special journals rather than the general journal. This will help us to make it easier and more efficient to find a certain type of transaction. In each special journal, all transactions are totaled at the end of the month and these totals are posted to the general ledger. The types of special journal are the sales journal, cash receipts journal, Purchase Journal, and the Cash Disbursements Journal. For the Sales Journal, keep in mind that all credit sales are recorded in this journal. The term sales includes only the goods which the business normally deals with. When goods are sold on account, a sales invoice is to be prepared by the sales representatives. In this slide, you'll see an example of a sales journal. Here you can see first the date, then the description or the name of whom the account is it for, then the folio number, then its respective debits and credits. In this example, the company is using the perpetual inventory system since they use the cost of goods sold and inventory accounts. Below it is an example of how sales journal is prepared. So here is an example ng sales journal. Makikita nyo kung paano siya na prepare. So una din sa date, makikita nyo na yung first row ay yung 2018. Then yung month na February and the day na 2. Dun sa katabi nun, sa account debited, ilalagay nyo kung sino yung binantahan nyo. Sa example dito, si Jason Henry. Then yung sunod is yung invoice number. Yung invoice number makikita nyo dun sa number na nasa source documents. Then the folio number. Then one column ng accounts receivable debit and sales credit. Dito makikita nyo na pinagsama na yung accounts receivable debit and sales na credit kasi parang sila naman yung lagi magka-partner. Para isang recorda na lang din ng amount nila. So example, nung kay Jason Henry, 
ay yung 450. So, dapat dito kapantay ng 450 yung name ni Jason Henry. So, kaya rin pinagsama yung account receivable debit and sales credit. Kasi nga sa sales journal, ito lang yung mga sales on account. So, basically, yung mga binenta mo na on account. Then, dun sa next column naman ay the cost of goods sold, debit, and inventory credit. Kaya tayo mayroong ganito kasi ang ginamit ng company nila ay isang perpetual inventory system. So, another example is nung recording ng February 7 kay Albert Ko. So, dito makikita na yung account receivable niya and yung sales niya is worth 500 pesos. Tapos, yung cost of goods and inventory mo is worth 355 pesos. Dito makikita mo siya sa invoice number 308. Ang isa nyo rin mapapansin ay rinerecord ang sales journal, sunod-sunod yung invoice number. So yung kasunod ni Albert ko is yung invoice number 309 na si Carrie Moore. Then, noong February 15 na si Paul Roth na may invoice number 310. Then, noong February 22 na si Jason Henry na may invoice number 311. Then, noong February 25 na si Frank Booth nang may invoice number na 312 then yung last na February 28 na si Albert ko na may invoice number na 313 then after ito totals nyo yung sales journal for the purchases journal keep in mind that all credit purchases are recorded in this journal Refer to supporting documents for details of transaction. It uses documents that were acquired through voucher system. Again, voucher system is a method for authorizing the disbursement of cash. A voucher is filled out which identifies what is to be paid for, the amount to be paid, and the account number to be charged. In this slide, you'll see an example of a purchases journal. Same goes with the sales journal, but different account titles. So dito naman sa purchases journal, makikita nyo na pagre-record niya is na sitsimula din sa date, 2018, then the month, then the day. Sunod naman is yung supplier's account, kung sino yung binilhan mo ng supplies mo. Katulad dun sa first example, si Horning Supply Co. Then the invoice number, or you can use then the invoice date. For example, dito is February 2. Sunod naman is the payment terms of your purchases. Sa example na Horning Supply Co, ang payment terms niya is N over 30. Then the portfolio number, then yung accounts payable credit, then lahat ng ide-debit mo na binili mo on account. So, makikita mo dito na yung mga account na yun is inventory, office supplies, store supplies, basta lahat ng binili mo on account. So, dito kay Horning Supply ko, makikita mo na bumili siya ng inventory na worth 275 pesos, then office supplies na worth 75 pesos, with a total of accounts payable na worth 350 pesos. Ang sunod naman is si Ace Manufacturing Company na may invoice date na February 5 at may payment terms na 210 and 30 meaning na magkakaroon siya ng 2% discount until the 10th day at no discount until the 30th day. So sunod ang kanyang binili is inventory worth 200 pesos na makikita mo sa inventory debit and accounts payable na credit. Ang sunod naman is si Winnet and Company na makikita mo na invoice date niya ay 210 then ang kanyang payment terms is 2 over 10 and 30 na makikita mo ang binili niya ay inventory worth 150 pesos. At yung accounts payable na worth 150 din. So, sunod naman kay Smite Company, nakikita mo na ang binili niyang inventory is worth 300 pesos and yung accounts payable niya is 300 pesos din. Sunod naman is yung kay Ace Manufacturing Company, na bumili rin siya ng inventory na 
100 pesos at meron siya accounts payable na 100 pesos. And lastly, yung kay ITT Company na meron siyang biniling inventory na worth 125 pesos, office supplies na 25 pesos, at store supplies na worth 75 pesos. Overall, ang lahat na accounts payable niya ay 225 pesos. After nun lahat ng yun, ito total mo siya at the end of the month. Na makikita mo dito ang total niya accounts payable is 1,325 at yung inventory niya is 1,150. Yung office supplies niya is 100 pesos at yung store supplies is 75 pesos. For the cash receipts journal, keep in mind that all cash inflow of the company are recorded in this journal. A separate journal is used to record the cash collections. In this slide, you'll see an example of a cash receipts journal. Here you'll see how each cash receive transactions are recorded. So here is an example ng cash receipts journal. Makikita nyo na nagsimula siya sa date, then the year, then the month, then the day. Sunod naman is yung account na credited. Here, since cash receipts journal siya, may pwede siyang cash sales or yung cash na nareceive mo from your accounts receivable. Or, basta lahat ng mga nareceive mong cash para sa business. So, dun sa unang example, February 7, meron kang cash sales na 4,450. Nakikita mo na ang sales niyang credited is 4,450 with its equivalent cost of goods sold and inventory since ito nga is perpetual inventory system na worth 3,150. Sunod naman sa February 12, si Jason Henry na merong full year number sa account receivable number 3 na meron din siyang explanation ng invoice. Tapos makikita nyo yung invoice date na February 2. Here makikita nyo na nagkaroon siya ng payment ng cash na worth 441 pesos at pasok siya dun sa sales discount na 9 pesos since pumasok siya dun sa discount period na within 10 days. Sunod ay meron siyang credit na accounts receivable na 450 pesos. Sunod naman is meron ulit siyang cash sales on February 14 na worth 3,925 pesos. At yung inventory niyang nagastos doon is 2,950 pesos. Sunod, meron ulit nagbayad sa kanya ng account sa si Bobol niya na si Albert Company. Makikita nyo na ang invoice date niya is February 7 na merong payment sa kanya na 490 pesos at pasok din sa sales discount na meron siyang 10 pesos and with the total ng credited accounts receivable niya na 500 pesos. Sunod naman is a notes. Dito, meron siyang na-receive na pera from notes receivable na cash na 750 pesos then other accounts sa 750 pesos. Dito sa column ng other accounts credited, Tinatawag din siyang sundry accounts. Dito, rinerecord lahat ng accounts na yung account title niya, hindi mo malimit gamitin. So, yung parang hindi ka nagagawa ng isa pang column para lang dun sa account na yon So, pwede mong pagsamasamahin yung hindi mo malimit na gamitin na account sa isang column na na other accounts are called the sundry accounts. Sunod naman ay another cash sales ng February 21. Sunod is another other accounts noong February 22. Sunod naman is another payment sa kanya ng accounts receivable niya na si Kari Moore. Sunod ay si Paul Roth. Sunod naman is another cash sales. And sa dulo naman is the total. Doon mo makikita na at the end of the month, February 28, ang total niya na cash ay 19,770. Sunod naman ang sales discount na total na 30. 
Sunod naman account receivable na total ng 1,500. Sunod ang total ng sales na 17,300. Sunod naman other accounts na 1,000 pesos. Sunod ay yung cost of goods sold and inventory na debit and credit respectively na worth 12,500. So, ganyan mag-prepare ng isang cash receipts journal. For the cash disbursements journal, keep in mind that all cash outflow of the company are recorded in this journal. The management can use this journal not only to see how much cash has been dispersed, but it can also track where the cash is being used. In this slide, you'll see an example of a cash disbursement journal. Here you'll see how all payments through cash of the company are recorded. Sa ating example ng cash disbursement journal, magsisimula siya sa date, yung year na 2018, then the month na February, then the day. Sunod ng column is the check number or the source document number. Sunod yung payee, Sunod yung account debited, then the folio number, then yung credit column for cash since ito nga ay lahat ng mga binayaran mo through cash. Sunod kung may credit ka inventory, sunod yung mga debited mong accounts na mga binayaran mo sa cash. Sunod yung mga babayaran mo through cash na accounts payable. So makikita nyo dito yung sunod-sunod na accounts. Then yung dulo is yung total, which amounts ng cash is 927, sa inventory ay 13, sa other accounts ay 290, then accounts payable na 650. To sum it up, here is a simple matrix of the types of special journal. Sales journal are for the sales on account. Purchases journal are for the purchases on account. Cash receipts journal are for the cash received, and the cash disbursement journal are for the payments of cash when buying things for the company. And lastly, the general journals are for all other transactions of the company that does not fit in the characteristics needed under the special journals. So that's all for your accounting series. Don't forget to follow the social media accounts of JPIA, Instagram at LayagJPIA, Twitter at LayagJPIA, Facebook JPIA Dallas Olipa. Good luck and God bless JPNs. Thank you.